Hey friends and book babes. I haven't been in much of a filming mood this past week and a half, but I've been wanting to show you guys how I annotate my books and stuff like that. So I figured this is the best time to do so. Well, first we'll get into the supplies. I keep most of them in this little pouch. I got it from Barnes and Noble. It just has some books on it. So I get a lot of my tabs now from Amazon. So the ones that can be more for color coding and matching the cover of the book and stuff, I usually get from Amazon and stuff. Just any tabs like this that has kind of like the flag situation going on are usually my favorite but I also do like to color coordinate with the book covers as well so yeah but you can also find these on Amazon as well I keep a lot of my tabs in this pouch and I just keep my bookmarks and stuff in there too keep some pens and highlighters in here here's my Kindle charger that's in there recently just got these erasable highlighters from Eyelet but they look like this. I will link my Amazon storefront in the description box that has all of my bookish accessories and stuff like that. But I got some of these erasable highlighters. There's an eraser right there. Because one of the things that um, discourages me from annotating my books is the thought of not liking the book in the end and feeling like I have to keep it because I annotated it and I can't like resell it. The best I could do is probably give it to Goodwill or something. But yeah, so I want to be able to resell a book if I don't like it. These erasable highlighters have been a game changer for sure, but it's definitely not what I always use. I have some stuff in my drawer right here and I just got that same brand of the erasable highlighters. I got their fine line markers and I'm liking them so far. However, uh, the eraser seems very harsh and like you have to really get in there to erase what you wrote and so I'm kind of nervous is that on book paper because book paper is pretty fragile and thin so we'll see about that. One of my favorite pens as well as this one also from Pilot. I just find these two a lot better than the uh, Pilot G2 that everyone uses because I feel like this just is a little too runny for me. I don't like how much it smears and stuff while these are kind of the same feel without the smudging. Just recently got these more like aesthetically looking pens and I like the way these write too. I also have the mild liner highlighters that everybody has. <laughs> so those are also an option. And I also have that big old pack of the Bic color pens. Those are the supplies. Now let's actually talk about how I annotate. For reference, let's talk about the hookup plan. Cover was purple and I had some purple tabs. I just grabbed those tabs and made my own little system. And so each tab does mean something for me and I usually write it on the tab itself and then just stick it on to the paper. A lot of people will put their tabs on the paper and then write what they mean, the code on the paper and that just gives me anxiety because what if I wanna, what if I don't like where I put the tab? You know, now I have to keep it there because I wrote the key on the paper itself, you know? So I prefer writing it on the tab. I used to put it on an index card because of how much the ink would smear on the tabs. So I used to just put it on an index card instead and just stick it in my book. But I've learned that the best thing, honestly, is using a Sharpie. Use it, uh, use a Sharpie and just let it sit there and chill and dry for like, probably only five minutes but I do it for like an hour because I'm paranoid and I don't want it to smudge onto my book. <laughs> so for romance and stuff I usually have tabs for cute, what a man, so that's just kind of like swoon worthy stuff. And then I have one for quote usually, I'll have one for smut a lot of times and then I'll sometimes have some for kisses if I have enough tabs depending on what type I'm using. I have one for funny and one for sad. That's why I have an OMG one so kind of just like a shocking type of revelation or something like that. For this one specifically I believed I used the blue and the purple highlighter because I felt like it matched the theme the most so my Writing utensils, I also try to have it go with the book theme, so I used these two. And then a regular black pen 
for my annotating. But I like to tab it like right where it happened because I like the look of the tabs being everywhere, number one. Number two, it's just easier to find that way in case I don't underline or highlight or anything. So that's another reason why I prefer the flag looking ones because it, it can like legit point to the reference. But honestly, after that, I kind of just do whatever I feel. Some people are like, oh, I highlight this and I underline this and then I will do this and blah, blah, blah. But I kind of just do whatever I feel. But usually how I feel is I usually highlight things that are either swoon worthy, love confessions. Um, if it's fantasy, then I'll highlight kind of things that help with the plot or the world building that I need to remember or something like that. I feel like I should underline it, then I underline it. If I feel like I should highlight it, then I highlight it. It's very like, you just do what you want. Like this is your book, guys. If you're gonna annotate it, do what you feel, okay? You don't have to follow what I'm doing at all. A lot of the times I will write kind of just whatever pops up into my head and I love to <laughs> I love to draw little like emojis and stuff like that um I usually just stick to faces because I don't know how to draw like that kind of the hard eye emoji and then this like angry emoji <laughs> are some of my favorite to do oh I do this shocked one a lot as well <laughs> but one thing about me is my brain is just a bunch of memes and TikTok sounds. So a lot of times the first thing that comes into my head is going to be like a TikTok sound or a meme or something like that. So then I end up writing that. When that trend for the little violin playing on TikTok was happening, yeah, that's what I did. I said violin plays <laughs> and stuff like that. I'll just say same sometimes. It's really just whatever's up in your head, you know? I do this a lot where I have like a little asterisk and then I go cries <laughs> because like, I'm just telling you what I did. <laughs> Things like this. Really, I think this is the only thing I've ever drawn that wasn't a face or like a heart, and that's supposed to be like a tea bag and a chocolate bar. <laughs> and for highlighting also, I don't have a designated color usually for the highlighting colors I choose. I kind of just do whatever. But for fantasy, I usually do try to have a specific highlighter color for the plot stuff specifically so yellow was what i did for the serious stuff like oh i need to i need to remember that for the plot i need to remember that for the world building i need to rem remember that for this or that so this annotation key is probably the one that i follow the most frequently in every book for the most part i do but especially fantasy because fantasy the plot tab is very important to have Plot i use as kind of like a foreshadowing or information type of tab started using pink just as like the cute the kisses the just anything that's adorable it doesn't even have to be romantic i think for before i let go a lot of my cute tabs were with their son because <laughs> their son is just so cute in this one so that's why i decided to start just putting a heart for that tab but blue is always going to be sad you know um pink is always going to be the heart for me and then funny is usually always yellow quote is usually always green for me and plot is usually always orange and then i usually don't know what to do with this uh lighter color purple so i just started doing the like shock face <laughs> to be like omg so this could literally be something that was swoon worthy that i wasn't expecting to happen it could be a plot twist it could be anything you know but yeah so that's kind of how i annotate fantasy and the majority of my books my, the majority of my books are this key code that i have a lot of pictures on my instagram for a lot of the annotations i do but i truly just literally write what i think in the moment because i think that's what makes it the most fun you know, the trend to say nar really <laughs> has me in a chokehold. And I think I say nar at some point in every book that I've ever read. So you can expect that annotation in pretty much every book. I think with Before I Let Go, I was kind of, I felt a little weird to have like a smut one <laughs> a smut tab it felt a little weird and i also didn't know much going into the book so i didn't want to assume that it had it so what i decided to do was instead of having smut i put what a man and then for the lighter color purple i did what a woman so you know just to be like yes 
queen yes king you know what i mean so yeah but this is when i finally started using the sharpie <laughs> to write on the tab and i have to say i think it's the best it's the best way to go honestly for that yeah so i kind of i literally just write what i feel and highlight random things i do what i want it is what it is the world is my oyster truly but i did want to show you i haven't really gotten into this that much because it's kind of time consuming but for like the love hypothesis i ended up doing like a little drawing on the cover i found this on pinterest i didn't think of it myself i am not artistic enough in that way to do something like this so i kind of just find references i did take the time to draw like a little picture <laughs> this is why i started doing the index thing that i was referring to because of the smudging but now i know I've grown. I've realized. Just use a Sharpie. Um, I did that for one other book, and that's Reminders of Him, the very controversial coho. Um, she's definitely hit or miss for me as an author, but I really do love Reminders of Him because it made me cry. And any book that can make me cry, I love. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so this is how the index I used to do looked. So this is what I used to do, and I used to just uh, tape it with washi tape, or I would just stick it in there. I did this for this one. Um, these are supposed to be snow cones, but I messed up. I don't know. I don't remember what I did to make me just do this to fix the mess up, but I shouldn't have done it. Pretty sure I found. A similar one on Instagram. I don't do that often because it's so time consuming. I just, I haven't had the time to do it, but I definitely want to have these three on Instagram. Um, I think I only have like a page or two of the love hypothesis on Instagram, but yeah, basically if you want to see my annotations, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I got an air bubble in my back. Oh God. Oh, those are some of the books that I have for reference of how I annotate. Those are the supplies I use. I do think some of my favorite will always be the mild liners, um, highlighters. So at some point I'm just gonna have to get over like making a mistake or whatever. My favorite supplies are the ones that aren't erasable, sadly. But I have been enjoying being able to just be free and not nervous at all because whatever I do, I can always erase it. I would recommend these types of supplies if you are just starting in your book annotating journey. I'm sure someone's gonna ask like, how did you start like being okay with annotating your books and stuff? I started being okay with it because it brought more funness to the book experience. It made reading even more fun than it already was. I think really the thing you gotta do is just go for it and maybe pick a book that you already like that you've already read and do it kind of like as a reread type of thing if you want to. I prefer to do it first time around because I want my initial thoughts on that page but it's also been fun when i have reread stuff to annotate it then as well i just if you're really nervous about it just know like these are your books you know if you if your only concern is like what if i want to resell it like me then look into some of these erasable supplies that i told you about um but at the end of the day this is to help your reading experience and so it's supposed to be fun so if it's not fun for you if you try it then you don't have to book annotate you know maybe it's funner for you to just fully be immersed in it and annotation kind of just takes you out of it then there's no harm in that just read how you want to at the end of the day try with a pencil at first if you want to if you don't have any of these supplies and you don't want to you know invest in that if you don't know if you're gonna really like it but yeah just try using pencils for a little bit and see if you like that these are your books ultimately and your thoughts should be heard they should take up space hopefully it made sense i did not script this at all and i probably should have but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my annotations hope this was a helpful little guide for you thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe follow me on my socials and i will see you guys next time bye meet me on the street lights meet me where the lights fade out Tell me what it feels like